Let's create a steel drum in Autodesk Maya. First, I want to go to the front view port. I'm going to position my mouse over the front view port and click the space bar to full screen that viewport. Now look at the picture of a steel drum. The main thing we want to notice about that is it has a rim and it has some ridges or spines in it. It also has a small rim on the bottom. Since the drum is circular, we will revolve a line for that. To revolve a line, I'm going to select the Bezier Curve tool. I also want to turn on Snap to Grid. Snap to Grid means as I draw, all my lines and vertices will be snapped to the grid lines. And I will start drawing half of the steel drum. For now, I'm going to just use the snapped points to make my ribbing. I'll click the enter key to stop drawing my line. Obviously the ribs are too big right now. I can right click on my curve though and go into control vertex mode. And then I'm going to select the two outer vertices, turn on the move tool, and move those closer. At this point I probably want to take off snap to grid because I want some finer adjustments than that. The ribs are still too big, but what I can do now is use my scale tool. Grab the vertices, the top, the bottom vertice of the top rib, the top vertice of the bottom rib, and we'll scale those or move those further apart. And we'll do the same thing for the opposite vertices. Moving it in this manner just keeps everything uniform. The vertices out on the curb will want to also shrink down. And we may need to move them in position too. Check that make everything's in proportion. If you want to, you can also at this time move your ribs. If you need to get them a little further apart or whatnot. But if everything looks good, right click, go back into object mode. Select the object. And now we'll try to revolve it. Check it out from the perspective view. If it looks pretty good, you can stick with it. If you need to, you can go back, unrevolve it, make some other adjustments again. You can also scale it up when you're done if you want to make it taller. Or not to kind of fit the proportions of the, of the steel drum. Last thing you'll want to do is create a rim for the bottom and top. For those, we can use regular polygons. A nice torus will make the top rim, and you can use a polygon pipe to make the rim for the bottom.